This is Prague, this is Prague Castle. We are the Honest Guides and we're about to show you new places that open up in Prague that are worth visiting. Let's go. Our first stop is this brand new bakery very close to the castle, probably on your way when you will go to the castle. It's called Our Bread, Your Bakery. And not only breads and baguettes, but they also have uh, some sweets. So if you're craving for sweets, you can stop in. And we're not gonna eat it here on the street, but we're gonna uh, go a little down ways uh, to eat it with a view overlooking Prague. This view that we took you to doesn't match the criteria of a new place, but I think it's absolutely amazing. Not this view, that view. So we can just sit and chill for a minute. I think half of the experience with any food or drink is the view, especially if you're in a place that is new for you. So we're familiar with this view, even though we absolutely love it. So I think for you, this will be uh, something special. It's a little tricky to get up here, but we'll put it in a map. And now let's eat what we bought. By the way, if you're saying like, hey, where's the croissant that you bought, the, the filled croissant? Well, I ate it in the Czech video, so you can watch that because we're making two videos at the same time. Honziko, do you want the roll or the placka? I will take the roll as in the Czech video. As in the Czech? <laughs> Now you have to watch the Czech video. It's called Kluci z Prahy. You'll find it in the recommended or in, in the description below. All right, I'll eat the placka. Also this bread and the roll that Honza has is with a tallow flavor. A word we didn't know, tallow. We'll teach you at the end how to say it in Czech. Since we're here with a great view, I think it's a good time to think to our sponsor of our video, which is a long-term partner, and it's Surfshark VPN. I hope by now you know what Surfshark VPN can do for you. If you don't, I'll give you a quick example. My friend just moved to United States and he cannot watch Czech TV online because Czech TV is geo-blocked only to check IP address. If he gets Surfshark VPN, which I hope he will after this video, he can watch the content wherever he is. He will just change his IP address in US to a Czech one. You can do this to any country around the world, so you can virtually be anywhere. If he or you will want to try out the service, you can use our code, which is Honest Guide, and you will get three months for free and 83% off. The link is below in the description, or you can simply try it for 30 days. They have a money back guarantee. So thank you Surfshark VPN. Me and Honza both use the service on our phones and our computers, and you can use it on unlimited devices if you subscribe for it. Let's move on with the video to another new place. Speaking of new things, do you remember the Honest Grass? Well, it's still here. It's its second season, so I still consider it to be new. Uh, it's growing. It needs a cut. It needs a grass cut. I hope the city will do it. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, watch our video, how we illegally uh, planted grass in the city center of Prague. The next spot is so new, it does not even have an internet review yet. So we'll be the first judges to judge it. And since it's a hot day, this place sells ice cream. So we're thrilled to try it out. And it's called Lunar. I got my ice cream, but I'm not gonna eat it here, but on a little garden that is just steps away around the corner. Also kind of new. Ciao. I got salty caramel. Lick on a stick in chocolate, <laughs> it's very good. I did tell you this place has no reviews, but that was incorrect. 
Now it has one review uh, and that will be by me and it's five stars. So when you look it up on Google Maps, I hope you will also add your review after tasting it because it's delicious. You can also create your own ice cream by dipping it in the dip and putting sprinkles over it. And it's not by accident that we're sitting here in front of CAMP, which is a center of architecture and metropolitan planning. Uh, so if you want some information about Prague, you can obviously reach out to the Honest Guides, but uh, information regarding uh, planning and city development, you can go here and there are always exhibitions of what's gonna be built where. It's always free to enter and uh, every couple months there's a new exhibition, so it's always worth going inside. but no ice cream allowed inside. And believe it or not, the next spot we're about to show you is once again, just around the corner, a few steps away, and it's Cafe Emmausé. Emmausé? Cafe? Cafe Emmausé. It's that simple. During the day, Café Emmausé is pretty quiet uh, with beautiful views on both sides, uh, either looking at the church or uh, overlooking the square. By the way, there's a very interesting story to the church. If you watch our mini guides on our Patreon, you will know the story. If you wanna sit here, of course you can. In the evening, the crowd gets bigger. People stand and sit on the stairs and drink a lot. Or you can also sit here on the garden. And we're off to, to another new place. We walk down to the river, to the Prague Riverside, and you may remember our video about Riversides, where we showed you all the Prague Riversides, except for this one, the most famous one. Well, it does have something new from the previous year, and those are these Prague lenses, Prague eyes, in Czech we call them kopky. Each one has something different in it. Uh, this one is a cafe place, there's a gallery, further out is a pub place. So you can try each and every single one, uh, see which one suits you the best. Uh, but I think just looking at them, especially at night when they light up, uh, it is uh, some Instagram material. But of course you can just come to the riverside and bring your own drink, chill by the river, look at the castle, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Yeah. We started our walk up there at the castle and walked through the entire city down here to the river. Roughly eight kilometers, not such a long walk. And the reason we picked new places so far apart from each other is so when you come to Prague, you will not be afraid to walk. And along the way, you will discover places on your own. So you can teach us something. So you watch the video, come to Prague, walk through the city, Get back to the video and write a comment. Oh, you missed this awesome coffee place. And that's what I'm looking for. And I'll see you next week on another Honest Guide video. And since this episode was about new stuff, here's a new Czech word for you and also a new English word for us. And in Czech, it's škvarky. And in English, it's tallow. Tallow? Is that correct? Tallow. So tallow is škvarek. Škvarek is tallow, the thing we ate today.